guys, welcome to the Alpha Flight Simulator here at Elite Aviation. We're in the Redbird today. We've got wind and rain and icing conditions outside, so we were able to hop in the simulator and continue with our training today. We've got Jason here, he's our flight ops manager, and we are simulating a engine failure in flight. While he may be flying right outside Spirit, his engine's going to quit, and we'll see how Jason reacts to it. All right, so the very first thing is we don't want to be startled by this. That's obviously the, the first thing that a pilot would normally do. So the very next thing is I'm going to pitch for my airspeed. We're going up to about 68 knots. That is the, uh, the VG speed or glide speed in our airplane. And we're going to trim this thing out so that I don't have to work as hard. I can just let the airplane sort of fly along. Next, I want to look for my best field. And in this case, I've got Spirit nearby. So I think I'm going to choose an airport. And we're going to go looking for that. Next is checklist. We are going to run through our sort of mental checklist first to see if we can resolve this problem. Uh, as you can see, our fuel here is uh, pretty much empty on the right side. So if I take that and if you will, go ahead and move that to the left side for me. And you can see we got from the right tank, now we're going to the left. And from here, I would then put make sure that the mixture is in, we have throttle coming in, and we could also try the uh, engine key over there. If you would, go ahead and switch between the max and we start up. Now in this case, I don't want the engine to come back to life. I want to continue on with, with uh, what, we're, what we're trying to do here. So next, I can go to my checklist and make sure, did I forget anything? Engine failure during flight, airspeed 68. As you can see, I'm going a little slow there, so I need to pitch that nose down just a little bit more. The fuel shutoff valve, we don't have one in here, but we would assume that it is in. The fuel selector valve on both. Well, in this case, we don't want on both because one of our fuel cells have, have gone out. So we do want it on the left. Auxiliary fuel pump, we can try and turn that on. All right, did the engine come back on? And we can try and start that left engine key just again. The mixture is indeed rich. It's all the way in. The ignition switch to both. If the windmilling is going on, we could uh, possibly try and restart there. In this particular case, it's not working for us. Now the Red Bird is extremely useful for these types of situations because we can pause it anytime we please and talk about what's going on. By doing that, we can just go ahead and press it here. Then Jason and I can go through and say, okay, well, how could we have made this better? Something that's not as useful while you're in the airplane is you can't pause it, right? You're gonna have to continue along there. And you can see some of these things are quite time consuming to where we can get through five or six engine failures and fires and different types of emergencies in a simulator lesson to where in the airplane, we may be only to get through one or two while we have to climb back up to the altitude and do these numbers of things. Jason did an awesome jo job of going through his ABC's checklist of engine failures being airspeed, best landing spot, and then he went straight to his checklist. The next thing he's going to have to do, and why we paused it, is because Jason needs to declare some sort of an emergency. So what he's going to do is he's going to get on there and, and um, let someone know, maybe it'll be Spirit Tower, let them know that he experienced engine failure, as well as he's going to be able to squawk a code for us. Let's see how Jason does when we unpause it. Everything's going well now. I have that time or that moment to go ahead and declare we could switch over to 121.5, the emergency frequency, and tell them where we are and what's going on. Or, since we're already talking to Tower, why not just let them know that we've had an engine failure and that maybe we might need some services. Hopefully not, but just in case. So, Mayday, 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 Skyhawk 24783 has an engine failure. I plan on landing on a right. Um, I'm squawking. 7700 that being the uh, emergency for just generally anything um, I left my master my avionics on so maybe I can still talk to tower and tell them what's going on if I need anything that they could help me out with generally 
I leave the master on so that I can still add my flaps. As we come into two six left, I notice, hey, I'm, I'm a little high. Maybe I'm sort of in a bad position. Maybe I should go ahead and start adding these flaps in. I've got about 7,000 feet of runway to play with. So I'm not too worried about overshooting at this point. I just don't want to come in short. So by leaving those flaps out, hopefully I can still make that runway. Now, like we talked about, a lot of what emergency procedures is, is being able to flow through the process of it, knowing and, and doing, give, building an automatic response to what happens if I lose my engine, to where it's, if it actually were to happen, you'd be able to handle it. And like we talked about before, the simulator is awesome for that. There's no added pressure of, and, and added pressure of something actually going wrong, as well as we can go through a number of these at, um, on each training session that would allow us to, to maximize our performance when we get in the plane. The reason why this is a great tool to use is we simply just put it right back in place and let's do this again. With the airplane, I don't have that ability to snap us right back. We have to now spend the next 10 minutes climbing up to altitude, getting us in a position where we can do this. Now in real life, multiple engine failures in a flight would be a terrible day. For us in the simulator, we can maximize this. Even with bad weather, we can practice through these training procedures and, and utilize our time and the tools here at um, Elite Aviation and Alpha Flight Simulation.